Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanted to film a video recapping on 2017 and how my year went and what I've learned because we are soon approaching 2018 and I'm so excited for 2018. I know it's gonna be an amazing year. I feel it and I plan on making it an amazing year because one thing I've definitely learned is that you can only be happy once you choose to be happy. Once you embrace yourself and take advantage of the opportunities you're given that's when your life will really start to be amazing so 2017 was definitely a very fulfilling year for me prior to 2017 i couldn't honestly say to myself that i accept myself and i love myself which i can say today so 2017 started off with my second semester of college and the first half of 2017 wasn't super great because I totally slacked off in school. I reached my lowest point of slacking off for school. I just worsened my work ethic. Not that I had a great one before, but it was just crap by that point because I decided to take five classes instead of um, the full course load, which was eight for that semester. But my first semester, I took a full course load. I took seven. And I decided to take five because I thought if I took less classes, I would be more motivated for school because I'd have more time to work on assignments and I could really try harder. But it just became the total opposite. I had so much free time that I wanted to take advantage of that free time to do other stuff instead of school. And I didn't really work hard on my school stuff and my grades just worsened. And I really didn't need that because they weren't great before in my first semester and I was really really disappointed in myself in my second semester I didn't like really any of my teachers most of my teachers were bad and not great teachers and that also really affects my schoolwork because if I don't like my teacher I'm just not motivated either to really care about their class which sucks um but after that semester, I told myself that I would work hard for school. And I really did my third semester, my fall semester, which I just finished. And I'm so proud of myself after this semester. Um, but before I get into that, I want to talk about the summer. This summer went by so slowly. So I had my first college summer, which was a full three months, which is a quarter of a year. It is just so long. I got really used to waking up late, you know, staying home, hanging out with my friends all the time, working so much. Like you just get used to um, that lifestyle. And then when I came back to school, it was very surreal. Um, but at the end of the summer, I turned 18 and it was a fabulous birthday. I had a cotillion, a debut, which is a traditional Filipino party because in Filipino culture, a girl's most important birthday is her 18th birthday. And my mom really wanted me to experience that, Morgan and I to experience that. And it was so great. I had over 150 guests. It was insane. It was such a fun time and I had a great birthday. So I just really have to thank my parents for throwing me that party because it was absolutely amazing. So starting my second year, I felt really comfortable and in college, there's so much more free and I just really love college and the atmosphere. And I decided to take six classes this time because I knew five wasn't enough. It just makes you lazy. So I took six, but I didn't realize that this semester was gonna be my hardest semester. And this was my hardest semester because I think I had the same amount of core classes last semester, but the core classes I had, I had four were just really really demanding and the course load was really heavy for all my core classes and even my gen eds too like i just had so much work to do um this semester i did homework every single day for at least an hour but this semester just went great i really really tried i am super proud of my grades because i totally did uh, 180 for my grades last semester. They're like literally the complete opposite. And I really liked most of my teachers this semester. 
except one I had issues with one teacher he was just so mean and not a great teacher that I ended up filing a complaint against him at the end of the semester I was really happy that I did that because you know if something's not right you should really do something about it and I have a reputation okay I have a reputation of being too nice and just never want to make people mad that's one of my biggest fears in life is making people mad at me so I will avoid it at any cost um, even if that's keep, keeping my mouth shut but this well second half of the year I've really learned to handle situations better and I just really want to change that I don't want to be known as being too nice because then people will just walk all over you and that's happened to me even in little public encounters and stuff where I just don't say anything and you really should I feel like I've done a lot of growing up in standing up for myself because I just I just never would never stand up for myself because again I just I don't like fighting with people I never fight with people and now I definitely can stand up for myself more often I've definitely learned a lot about guys this semester too and that when you start having feelings for someone or crushing someone crushing on someone definitely find out right away if that person feels the same way and you share mutual feelings because you you don't want to waste your time and energy liking someone when the whole time you don't even know if they like you back because you may miss out on other opportunities other guys because you're just wasting all your time on one person that you don't even know if they like you like you just really have to think about the bigger picture and that putting an effort to be with that person to hang out with them you know when you don't even know if it's gonna end up the way you want it to and so so many crushes I've had I liked them for so long and then they just never liked me and it's like wow I just you just wasted so much time on someone you know and everyone's entitled to their own feelings and and opinions it's not a bad thing if someone doesn't like you you know you just move on um you sh for me to move on from someone I just cannot talk to them I just have to completely like cut contact with that person that's just the only way I can really do it it's just easier for me like that I've never even had a boyfriend yet so I don't want to waste time on someone who just wants to screw around or doesn't want the same thing I want definitely turning 18 I, I have more responsibilities in taking care of myself and I have to do more things for myself. You have to start thinking more about your future because I'm going to be starting uni soon and you know everything I'm doing from this point on is really going to affect my future. Now I'm in the transition of entering adulthood and leaving my teenagehood. Now I'm starting to become the person that I want to be. Communication is key. I've definitely learned that from my friends because when I'm mad or something, I won't tell them. But then like a few months later, I'll be like, hey, you know that, you know that actually made me mad? Like, ha ha ha. But then they'd be like, Taylor, why didn't you tell me? Like, tell me right away so like I can fix that. And I never realized that like when you're mad at someone or something, telling them also helps them because if you're right, they can fix that. Communicating with someone is only benefiting both of you in that situation. To sum up this video, <laughs> you have to own up to your faults to really accept yourself. Like the only way you're gonna get through life is if you communicate with people, your concerns and your opinions, communicating with people, communicating with your teachers if you have a problem, which I've definitely started doing um, this semester because if I, I just didn't like talking to teachers, it gave me so much anxiety, but I really just, I just forced myself to talk to a teacher or ask a teacher a question if I didn't understand something because even if it made me uncomfortable, I just forced myself to do it because I'm only going to do better in this class if I ask a teacher for help. Even my owing a teacher, like I didn't like it. I just hate talking to teachers because I'm so afraid of sounding stupid in front of a teacher. Even if I just have to ask a question, like I'm just afraid it's going to be a stupid question. So I would never ask teacher questions. Even my own teacher, I would just be really nervous for. So this semester, I definitely my, my teachers 
um, a few times asking questions. My friendships with my friends have only become stronger because I I make myself communicate more even if it makes me uncomfortable. Like the only way you're going to learn more about yourself is through doing stuff that you're afraid of or you don't like and really pushing yourself. That's how I really improved on myself um, this this semester and this second half of the year. I don't know how I'm going to edit this video because I just kept leading onto a tangent and going deeper and talking about other stuff but I'm so much happier and I hope you had a great year. The only thing I'd like in 2018 is a boyfriend because I'm going to be turning 19 and I've never had a boyfriend and obviously I want one. Like if you say you don't want a boyfriend, you're just lying to yourself because no one wants to be single, okay? Unless you just went through a breakup. So I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> but subscribe if you'd like to see future videos of mine. And I hope you're excited for the New Year's. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.